monument here is a joke. You can't pick this. There's no way to pick this.
जा रहा है Let's do this. What's up, man? all that. 
right? Get that rifle. All right. Red neutralized. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Something's out there. Hey. I must yeah, be what daydreaming. Go check that out. I'll take care of it. Grab that gun over there. Yep, you got it. X4. Find and secure the synths. Find and secure the synths. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. What's this about money? Yes, money. Here. 60 caps. That's... that's all I've got. We're good, right? Got any more on you? What? No. I, I told you. That, that was all I had. Got any more on you? What? No. I I told you that that was all I had. All right, Sin. Please. Why don't you want to go back? <sighs> I. I don't know. I wanted my own life, I guess. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Oh, no. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just... just don't. Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. No sudden moves. Please, no. What's so bad about the Institute? I just... I couldn't take it anymore. All right, Sin. Please! Why don't you want to go back? I... I don't know. I wanted... my own life, I guess. You're safe. Calm down. You're not going to send me back? I cannot allow you to set these sins free. You will be terminated and your actions will be reported. Trash! <laughs> All right, Synth. Please! You're safe. Calm down. You're not going to send me back? I cannot allow you to set these synths free. You will be terminated and your actions will be reported.
You're safe. Calm down. You're not going to send me back? I cannot allow you to set the... He sends free. Starting to have fun. Hey there. You've given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Smell like he's in above ground. Pardon me. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? It's an honor to meet you, sir. I wish you could have known father as we have.
Synth unit. You were scheduled for maintenance duty. <clears throat> Nothing to report, sir. Always be I vigilant. carried out my duties, we have as many usual. Enemies. Dr. Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Yes. I mean, no, he's not. But I was only... What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was, but I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it, it switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. Remember, health and happiness go hand in hand. Is someone present? Someone there? Gonna splatter I'll your brain! your guts around my neck! Engaging hostile attacking oh, enemy.
something? You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did, and for good reason. I was the perfect candidate, an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. 
Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. That's all this is to you? All I am to you? Just another experiment? No, that's not all. But still, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Soon, I hope, I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the synths go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? So a few synths go missing. It's not the end of the world. Why is this so important? By allowing this to happen, the Institute appears weak. This is an unacceptable outcome. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? What if I don't want to represent the Institute? Have you thought about that? To be quite honest, no, I hadn't considered that. It would be such a poor decision on your part. I had not given it much thought. So where does this leave us? I need to be sure I can count on you going forward. I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hoped you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Father. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. I hope... I hope you can find some amount of peace. I dreamed of you as an adult for so long. Here you are. And I'm so disappointed. Goodbye, Father.
Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code, Gamma 49 Typhoon. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code, Beta 77 Tempest. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just... Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me... Sure. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. I have been looking for you. I gave you all the caps I had. Aren't you going to let me go now? I'm putting you down. No, 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 no! I have been looking for you. I gave you all the caps I had. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work. Back off, civilian. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. Mm -hmm. The only... It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the instant... Both of us, really. Why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. Well, the Institute... It only made sense... What? I'll admit. What? To not only... Extraordinary. So it was you? Yes. Sir, really? An experiment. I had... Yeah? With the Commonwealth, perhaps most... Sean, you need to... I can see that you... <clears throat> The synths have been safely returned. Yeah. I hope you weren't at too much risk. What do you mean, the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming, and they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen it. It's time to go back in. Bringing that rogue synth back. should be directed to the facilities division. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... well... it's important. Sean. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... well... it's important. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. 
Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first.
what would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Dr. Holdren. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment, but I need some assistance with it. I believe we can improve the growth rates of our crops by using mutated cells, such as those found in super mutants. To test this theory, I'll need a tissue sample from a particularly strong super mutant. I expect I'll eventually need several such samples, but let's just start with one. The hell with that. Do it yourself. We're not fighters. We're scientists. We'd be no match for one of those creatures. I know it's a lot to ask, but please at least consider it. You might well be the only one here who can do this job. How do I... Uh... Well? I suppose you'll just cut off some of its flesh, store it however you like, and then bring it to me. Probably best if you kill it first. You need a tissue sample from a strong super mutant. Got it. That's right. Now remember, only a particularly hardy super mutant will fit the bill for this experiment. I don't need it right away, but if you do come across such a specimen, I'd be grateful if you could bring back a sample. Done. I hope you realize how important mass fusion is to our overall goal. Engaging 
I hope you realize how important mass fusion is to our overall goal. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real mess. Glad it's back where it belongs. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Dr. Leo was looking for you. It sounded important. Did Dr. Ao find you? He wanted to talk to you about something. Fix one relay and two more start to fail. At least I'm not bored. Excuse me, I've got reports to deliver. Hi. Good to see you. I bet Dr. Thompson would love to take that power armor apart and get a look at the inner workings. Good, Good to see you. Feeling well today? The rest see me as little more than a glorified repairman. But I'm as much a scientist as any of them. 